What is up guys? This is Thomas A. Messon and today I'm going to show you how to root your Verizon Samsung Galaxy S3. This will only work for version 4.1.1 and I'll show you right now. So if your model number is SCHI535 and your Android version is 4.1.1, this will work for you uh, no matter what, 100% guaranteed. All you have to do is download two things. So real fast, go to developer options and make sure that developer option is turned on and USD debugging is turned on. This has to be turned on for this to work. Obviously, if it's not, it will not work. So make, just, just do yourself a favor and make sure it's turned on. Next, go to security and make sure unknown sources is on or check marked. And once that is check marked, you are good for everything on your phone. Um, there's also, there's actually a little bit more steps. So turn off your phone and turn it off all the way, just shut it down, uh, don't restart, just shut it down. So now you have to make sure you press down on the volume down button, hold that down, then hold down the middle button or the home button and hold down the power button and once you do that then you will go down into download mode. It looks like this, all you want to do is hit the volume up key and it will that is all you have to do on your phone. Now you just have to plug it into your computer. So here's the USB um, cord. Hook it up to your USB uh, ca uh, connector onto your laptop or uh, computer, whatever. Uh, now plug it into your phone, and that is all you need. Bang! Now for the computer, uh, this is the hard part. Well, it's not even hard. But what you have to do is download the two links in the description. Link number one will be Odin. Link number two, uh, we'll just call it the tar fire file. And uh, all you have to do is download those two and you'll be set. So that is all you have to download. This is probably one of the easiest tutorials on YouTube uh, to root your Galaxy S3 uh, version 4.1.1. Very easy. So I'm just going to try to find Odin. Uh, if you can't find it, just go to the start and type in Odin and you will find it if you downloaded it. Um, so I'm just going to type it in right here. Okay, so here is Odin, um, and you wanna hit run as administrator, and there you go, you have Odin. Now you just wanna try to find that second file that you downloaded, so try to find that uh, tar file, and you should save it to your desktop. Make sure that those two are checked. I'm um, pretty sure they're checked by default. Um, so now try to find that tar file and um, I have it under toot for some reason I don't know why um, so let's go down try to find this here it is um, now just open it up and just wait a little bit be patient you it, ha it has to find the file and uh, make sure it's the right file so just wait a little bit um, until the start button uh, until you can actually click it so right now as you can see there's that little blue ring okay now as you can see it is fully downloaded and you're ready to press start so make sure um, you hit start after that is there and make sure that that blue box is up near um, make sure that that blue there is a blue box on that first uh, right where it says boot right now um, right under it there's a blue box make sure that that is there if it's not there it will not work so just make sure it's there and that is all you have to do it's very easy um, it will automatically reboot um, and you know when it's done your phone will be rooted it takes pretty fast uh, this whole thing took me about an hour because the tar file took a while it was about like 700 millibytes or something I'm not sure uh, it took a while, uh, but this is a really fast part. It took about 8 to 10 minutes, nothing too big. Uh, so we're just going to skip forward, and uh, I'll get back to you. Now it is fully finished, and, you know, your phone will be rooted when it's done. Uh, it'll automatically reboot. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, but that is it. It's really easy. It is actually booting up. So let's see if it actually worked um, on the computer. It says restart. Um, now on the phone, it has a little droid and it, something's loading. Uh, and that's good news. So hopefully this works 
Um, if I post this video, then obviously it works. I'm 100% positive it'll work. If I post this video, I'm not going to give you guys false information. I want to help you. I'm not here to, you know, do anything bad. So if you're seeing this video, I'm 100% positive that this will work. Um, please do not blame me if you do something wrong um, or if your phone for some reason gets bricked. I'm not responsible. It worked for me. If it doesn't work for you, then I'm very, very sorry. Um, but the phone does not delete anything. It will be in its um, way. It won't delete any apps, any data. You won't have to um, do everything all over again. So it worked, and the phone is rooted, um, and I will show you that right now. As you can see, Super User SU is on the phone and it automatically goes onto your phone once you root it. And what this does is just, it's kind of like an administrator, uh, gives you permission to run apps, nothing too big. Uh, right now, I launch Titanium Backup just to show you that it actually works and it's rooted. So if I helped you in any way, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, peace. And uh, also, I have, a, I have two channels. Thomas A. Messon, which is my main channel, and then the channel you're looking at this right now, Thomas A. Messon 2. I also have a Facebook fan page. It's Thomas A. Messon. So check that out. Um, I also have a Twitter, Thomas A. Messon. Okay, see ya.